God lives and works today. Do you feel oppressed by the powers of darkness that fill our world today? The powers of hatred, suffering, and death? Today's program by Basilea Schlink will tell about a power that is greater than all of these. Mother Basilea once shared with us an experience which she had as she stood before the starvation cell of Father Maximilian Kolbe, a priest who was martyred in Auschwitz during World War II. She said, I had read Maximilian Kolbe's story, and it moved me very deeply. Some of the men who were brought to these starvation cells lost their minds. They screamed day and night. However, there was one cell from which no one ever heard any screaming. It was the cell of Maximilian Kolbe, a man who loved Jesus and who had chosen this death out of fervent love for him. Up until the end he could be heard singing in this cell, as he praised and worshipped our Lord Jesus. And his face shone till the very hour of his death. What kind of power can be greater than such tribulation, such torture, such a death by starvation? What power is greater than all fears, than all physical sufferings, than all temptations? What power is greater? Affliction, temptation, suffering, and death, these all belong to our earthly life. Jesus, however, tells us about another life, divine life. This life has been promised to all those who love Jesus and will follow him, those who are willing to forsake, lose, and sacrifice that which they hold dear. These people value Jesus above all. They have divine life which consists of love, the love of God that is shed abroad in our hearts. Oh, none can be loved as is Jesus, none like him. Yes, love is the strongest power, and love for Jesus, this divine life inspired by the Holy Spirit, is greater than all tribulation and all affliction that may descend upon us. We need this love for Jesus, and Jesus needs our love too. And so Jesus stands before us ever anew begging for our love. He asks us, Will you give me your love? Will you accompany me on the path that I take? I won't disappoint you. I will make you blissful because I am love itself. Oh, make me thine, my Savior, loved most holy, that I may only live to give thee glory. Oh, make me thine. Oh, make me thine. You have been listening to a program written by Basileus Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.